Someone asked me what it's like when I make that walk, what, what it's like when you walk out to that arena, and I swear on my life, when I walk out to that arena, I honestly feel like I'm unshackling chains off of me. Do you know what I mean? I feel like I'm chained and I'm carrying a cross or something. And then when I get to that octagon, I'm, I'm peeling it all off. And when I finally step foot in that octagon and place my bare feet on that special UFC canvas, I feel free. You're given everything you've got. You're in there to die. You're prepared to die in there. I am prepared to die in there, and I'm also prepared to kill in there. People who haven't done it, people who maybe haven't seen fight sports in such a way and haven't been there very close, when you say, I'm prepared to, to kill, I'm prepared to die, it might sound strange to them, but do you have to have that attitude to be at the very top in your sport? I feel to be at the pinnacle of any game, in any, whatever you do, you've got to be a little bit gone to it. You're not all there. You've got to be almost insane to your craft. Mm. Not a lot of people can understand that. That's why I don't know about nothing else. I do not pay attention to nothing else. There was games of football on yesterday, there was rugby, there was this, there was that. And like normal society is like, let's talk about this and let's, let's engage in this. And I just don't, I can't do it. I just don't, I'm, I, people are talking to me and in my head I'm, I'm counting something. I'm counting up a number or I'm, or I'm knee deep in a sequence on the mat or in, on the feet. That's my life, sequences and numbers, nothing else. I cannot pay attention to nothing else. Is it a beautiful obsession? Can I call it that? Is it a beautiful obsession? It's a beautiful life. Make no mistake about it, it's a beautiful life. Preparing to do the thing isn't doing the thing. Scheduling time to do the thing isn't doing the thing. Making a to-do list for the thing isn't doing the thing. Telling people you're going to do the thing isn't doing the thing. Messaging friends who may or may not be doing the thing isn't doing the thing. Writing a banger tweet about how you're going to do the thing isn't doing the thing. Hating on yourself for not doing the thing isn't doing the thing. Hating on other people who have done the thing isn't doing the thing. Hating on the obstacles in the way of you doing the thing isn't doing the thing. Fantasizing about all of the adoration you'll receive once you do the thing isn't doing the thing. Reading about how to do the thing isn't doing the thing. Reading about how other people did the thing isn't doing the thing. Reading this essay isn't doing the thing. The only thing that is doing the thing is doing the thing. Look this lion. He's the king of the jungle. Huge mane out here. He's laying down under a tree in the middle of Africa. He's so big. He's so hot. He doesn't want to move. Now, the little lion comes. They start messing with him. Biting his tail, biting his ears. He doesn't do anything. The lioness, she starts messing with him. Coming over, making trouble. Still, nothing. Now, the other animals, they notice this. And they start to move in. The jackals, hyenas, the barking at him, laughing at him. They nip his toes and eat the food that's in his domain. They do this, and they get closer and closer and bolder and bolder, till one day, that lion gets up and tears the shit out of everybody, runs like the wind, eats everything in his path. Because every once in a while, the lion has to show the jackals who he is. <laughs>